stacked bar charts in Tableau. The value of this strategy is to allow the viewer to clearly see comparisons between two levels of detail. In this example, we're gonna go with region and category. And we're gonna look at this in one simple to understand worksheet. Let's go over the steps and have a good time. So we had region. I'm just gonna type this in here to find it fast. Going from left to right. So I'm gonna click, hold, drag, and drop that into columns. And with sales, I'm gonna click, hold, drag, and drop that onto rows because the sales was going up and down. Region is a dimension here and sales is a measure. All right, now let's find my categories. I'm gonna click into search and type cat, there's category. Drop that into color. And this technically is a stacked bar chart. We could say we're done, but the results we're going for is clear to see comparisons. So let's make sure it's real clear. We're going to put sales onto label. And this is going to help the eye a lot looking across without even having to get the cursor onto things. Now, I don't need every last dollar in these numbers here. So I'm going to format this to a custom currency. Don't need any decimal places either. We're dealing with thousands of dollars. So that's what we should see. And what I just did to the format in the pane, I'm now going to do the axis. Follow along with me here under axes, numbers, currency custom, bring decimal places down to zero, change display units to thousands. There you go. If you're looking for the format, you don't have it, you can just right click on whatever's the first thing you find. And you can go to axes, you can go to pane, and you can do different fields up there for getting those numbers nice and pretty. All right, so did we do it? Let's take a look at the final results. I'm looking at a dashboard I made here. If you need to make one from scratch, just click this for a whole new dashboard. But I just wanna see the results here that I already have labeled out. So here's the steps we did, dropping it in. And I don't need this title, so I'm gonna right click, select hide title. I'm gonna right click on region, select hide field labels for columns, because I don't need that either. And this is a nice clean picture here. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And I want my categories to be right next to these bars. So I'm just gonna put this display of the final results we're going for at the top of the dashboard. Click and hold and drag and drop in there, bringing this up. And I wanna read all these categories. So let me just shrink this a little bit. And I think that's a pretty clear picture there. Enjoy.